Welcome to Investor Secrets Unlocked. My name is Jason Rodriguez, and today we're gonna to be talking about pre-screening real estate investing deals. But before we get into that, what we do here on this channel is we help investors learn and to be profitable. So if you're new to the channel, we put out videos every week, why don't you hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification, ping, 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 and let's get right into pre-screening, boom. Investor Secrets Unlocked.
Welcome to Investor Secrets Unlocked. My name is Jason Rodriguez, and today we're gonna to be talking about pre-screening real estate investing deals. But before we get into that, what we do here on this channel is we help investors learn and to be profitable. So if you're new to the channel, we put out videos every week, why don't you hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification, ping, 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 and let's get right into pre-screening, boom. All right, so on pre-screening, this video, let's set the stage for what this video is gonna be and what it's not gonna be. On this video, the, the idea of what it is going to be is gonna be to give you concept of how you can use any kind of pre-screening. Um, I'm not telling you to use any specific script or not script. Um, it's just more about like, what do you gotta get across so that that seller you, that calls you, you can pre-screen them and get the info that you need and then make the conversation go forward to where you could actually either not buy the house and know that you're not buying it or know that there's something there and be able to take the next step, which is probably booking a, a visit to the house. Uh, so that's what this, this, this training is about right here. So one of the things that I highly, highly recommend is every single time that you speak to a seller, you use a script. I don't care whose script it is. Uh, some scripts gonna be better than others. Absolutely there are, um, but it's using a script is better than using no script. And the reason why, I, so I'll give you a little bit of background for me. So I've been investing in real estate for over 20 years. I've done over 800 deals. And over those 800 deals, every single time, every time I use a script, I'm a little bit old school. I kind of like a paper script. I use technology and software and all these fancy things. But what I tell you is that's cool. But um, I like the paper script because it doesn't have me stop and fumble on my computer or my phone and be like trying to put it in my phone. And because what I seen from that is that I can have a disconnection with that seller. My idea is when I get on the phone with that seller, I wanna make a connection. I wanna find out what is going on. Cause typically it's either a people problem or a house problem. So what I'm, I'm trying to identify uh, that, is it a people problem, is it a house problem? Another thing I'm trying to identify is do I see money? That is one of the biggest things I'm trying to see and ask in the pre-screening. Do I see money or I don't see money? If I don't see money, I'm okay to tell them quickly, this is probably not gonna work for us. And then I move on to the next. And what do I say my, by, by I mean if I don't see money? I, I asked them on the, screen, on the script. I, at some point on the script, I ask, hey, um, are you looking to sell the house for what you owe? They say no. Then I say, well, how much might you be looking to sell the house for? What's the least, excuse me, this is what I say, is if I could pay you all cash and close quickly, what's the least you would sell it for? They say a number. Let's just make believe they say it's 250,000. Then I'll say, oh great, how much do you think the house is worth? 350,000. Okay, I see money. If they say that they think the house is worth 200,000 and they want 250 and there is no money there, then I quickly know that, hey, this doesn't sound like it's gonna be a deal. And I'm very quick to say, Unfortunately, your house doesn't qualify for what we're looking for, and I move on. But if I do see some money, I wanna come and take the next step. But let's take a step back, let's regress here. So no matter what script that you use, you must use it all the time. And so I say every single time I use a script, I've actually memorized what my script says. It's that important. Um, and what do I mean? Because have I been, I've been out on the road and I've been in a restaurant and a seller calls and I'm on my phone and I'm like, okay, cool. I have to, um, I don't do it on the phone by the way, but let's just say I'm on my phone. I put them on speaker and then I will write out. I can visualize and see what the script looks like. And I definitely know what the script, the most important questions that the script says. And I make sure I stay using that format. I've taken the back of those table cover things that you know that, that maybe may, might be a menu or something, and on the back is white. I can't tell you how many deals I've written on those those papers. And when I take it back, it looks just like the script. And more importantly, I ask the most important questions that the script says. Most investors, when they they pre-screen somebody over the phone, what I see is that the pre-screen is horrible. From zero to ten, they're at a three. And at a three, you failed. Remember going to school? Your teacher gave you a, you got a three, a 30 on your test. That was ugly. So I make sure that I memorize what the layout of the script looks like. I also memorize what are the, the most important questions that I have in that script so that I can answer those. And here's something I'm gonna tell you another thing where I think most people, investors kind of fail in the whole script process is they don't connect with the person enough to find out what's the real motivation. Meaning, I'll say it this way. 
I invest, I, when I'm pre-screening someone, I, I invest 70% of my time trying to find out why they are looking to sell. What's the real reason? I get, I, I get people that like, oh, the, you know, like other students, they're like, oh, the real reason they wanted to sell was money. And I'm like, what? Money? Bro, you missed the whole boat. You missed it all. Of course, what do you think I was gonna give them? Shackles, rubles? Like, come on, of course they wanted some money. But why did they want money? What were they gonna do with it? What's the compelling reason? And when you start to take a little deeper dive down there, then you can see like, how can I actually put this deal together? Because what I want to do is I wanna solve for their why. So I, I, I'll say it again, I, I invest 70% of my time in the pre-screening, understanding, making a connection and understanding what their why is. And then I sell to their why. Because it's either a people problem, a house problem. I'm trying to identify what's going on a lot of times. Um, and a problem doesn't mean like, hey, there's a crisis going on. It's just like, hey, I want to move to Florida uh, because my family's over there and I'm and I, I and that's why I'm moving. I was so I'll take a deeper dive inside there and say, so why is it important now for you to move to to, to your family? Oh, my daughter just had a kid. Oh, so this is a, you have a grandchild. Oh, okay, great. Like, uh, is that your first grandchild? Yeah. I was like, how does that make you feel that you're far away from them? Who I ask a lot of that. How does it make you feel? How does it make you feel? And she's like, wow, you know, I, I feel like really, really separated from them. Like I, I'm, I'm like, I could imagine. And I, I let them go and talk into that. So sometimes my pre-screen may be longer than most people's, but um, I, I, I tend to get a little bit deeper and further with them because once I start to know, I'm like, oh, so the, the main reason why you want to sell is because you want to be with the grand, your grandson that was just recently born. How important is that to you? Oh my God, it's super important. How fast do you want to get there? I'm, I am leaving whether I sell the house or not in the next two weeks. Oh, okay, cool. So what about the house payment? You have a house payment? Yeah. How, how, are you gonna, make, you gonna be able to make the payment? Well, I could make it for a few months. Well, how, how, just out of curiosity, how long is a few months? Well, a few months might be, you know, I could probably do three months. And what happens after three months? Well, after three months, I have a big problem. Oh, got it. So look at all that information that would not have been on the script, but by asking, the se staying focused on the 70% of identifying what's their why, now I just took a deep dive and I want the permission to be able to go take a nice deep dive with them on what that why is. And then the script, boom, brings me right back to my next questions. So I can go off into a tangent and then come back, boom, right into my next question and my next question and my next question. And I am, I am systemized and, and in a clean process. And I ask all the powerful questions that I need to ask. So, um, and, and, and that's how, that's my recommendation for you if you're gonna start pre-screening. Again, this wasn't about any particular script. It was about more of the mindset and the process behind it. Invest the 70% of the time in identifying the why and be a professional problem solver. That's your job, is a, to be a professional problem solver. When you are a professional problem solver, if you, if you thought that, hey, I'm a professional problem solver, by the way, Jason Rodriguez is one. <laughs> uh, if I think that, then I have to be looking for what's the problem and what's the solution. What's the problem, what's the solution? But if you pre-screen and you don't have a problem and you just think they want money and their money is just give me a check, well then, are you really a professional problem solver? Or are you just trying to swap? And um, one may sound different. The, the difference between that is the difference between an investor doing possibly one deal and another investor, like myself, doing five from the same marketing. It's just being able, if, if I get 100 people to call me, I have a better shot of closing more deals. And I want you to have that better shot in closing more deals. Don't just, don't, don't be nervous on it. And it's okay if you're nervous when you're talking to them, but ask the questions, connect with them. Ironically enough, and look, just so I, we know, not everyone's gonna wanna come and take a deep dive with you. I'm not saying that. That's why I said out of 100, you get a few. Um, but the ones that you do will be the ones that you will make a connection and then a lot of times those will be the easy deals. Because I'm now, I'm not buying their house, I'm giving them freedom to get to their, their grandchild without having all the headaches and all the, the, the worrisomes behind it. And they, that, that's a lot of freedom to them and that's what they want, they want that freedom. All right, so from here, I wanna hear a little bit about what, I wanna hear in the comments, put in the comments, when you pre-screen, what are some of the magic words? What are some of the magic words that you put when you pre-screen your, your deals? I want to hear exactly what you're saying. And I, you know, like you, you might have a little, a little twist to this, a little twist to that. And uh, this is a great time where you can share with us and, and the whole community 
um, on, on what you do in your pre-screen. And uh, if you use a magic script, I wanna hear about that too, that'd be great. Um, and look, for some of you, uh, we have a free gift, and the free gift that we have for you is a free training. Because we know that some of you right now are just listening uh, to the to videos, you've been watching the videos, seeing, hey, do I wanna do this? Do I wanna do some real estate investing? Do I wanna check all that out? And you're just kinda checking it out. And then there's a bunch of, uh, uh, there's a, uh, quite a few other ones that fell into my bracket that was like, I don't wanna check it out, I wanna do it. I want someone to help me to build out a blueprint so that I could go out there and start investing. And I just, I, I would love somebody to help me with the blueprint and possibly hold my hand and coach me and mentor me through the whole process. That might be um, something you might be looking for. But the first part, as far as building the blueprint, we can help you with that. So we have a free training in the description below and it helps you to build out that blueprint. So take advantage of that training and um, remember, to if you haven't already subscribed, su subscribe and then hit the bell, bing, bing, bing. And, uh, we put videos like this every single week. So if you're interested in growing your real estate investing and getting started, make sure that you check out our next video. Check out our playlist. Talk to you later. I'm out.